Stalker! <laughs> that looks so good! That looks so good! So, about today, I think today is going to be a pretty bloody good day. How is it? It's good, actually. It's really yeah. good. I mean, there's, um, I don't know what it is with me and clutches, but every bike I seem to buy has a clutch issue. I don't know whether it's the clutch or whether there's a bit of tyre slip, but it's. Just, I mean, the fluid is pretty. Don't look at it. Well, you bought it from Nibbo, so there's got to be yeah. something wrong with it. Yeah, I just had to change the battery quickly because that was fine. Uh, but I've got a whole spare bike in there just in case something falls <laughs> off this one. Genius! What a, what a plan! Yeah, and it passed noise testing. So, we are here at Castle Coombe today, and um, just out of a twist of fate and luck, Chris booked on with his old banger, and I've been chatting to Kieran from Renaissance Racing for just about a year now. We're trying to get something sorted, and he has got this beautiful selection over here. So we have a Joey SP, is it, sorry, is it SP1 or 2? It's an SP1. SP1, a Joey SP1. A Stalker Rep SRAD, the Hodgie 916, and then the McKenzie Rep, the Yam. I think I think this one goes pretty well with my. It do, doesn't. What? The, the purple. It's a real bad clash. Oh, change the leathers. <laughs> but yeah, so Renaissance Racing is Kieran, and uh, basically, you can come and ride these bikes hire them, come and ride them, and uh, he'll bring them to the track, you pay for the track day, and you've got this fine selection to choose from, so I've just done some side laps on the on the Yam, I'll tell you that, Kieran did say like this will be the kind of surprise package, because it is the oldest, or the oldest looking anyway, and it's kind of, you know, against the rest of them, it's probably not as sexy, but I've just been on it, and it is, it really surprised me, it's phenomenal. What's next? What's next on the menu, sir? 996. 996. Sorry, did, I, did I say 916? I did, didn't I? Sorry, 996. So what's the crack with this thing, Kieran? So it's Ducati, it's got a few foibles. <laughs> uh, main one's centre around here, really. So neutral. Absolute yeah. pick to get into neutral with the yeah. engine running. Um, just the easiest way is knock the engine off, it'll slot straight in. Yeah. I've got a new clutch there for it, but they don't seem convinced that it'll fix. Red ignition light. Uh, I put it in because there was one in the original one, but then it turns out the original one doesn't actually have a wire for it, so that does nothing. <laughs> uh, I promise it's full of fuel, but the okay. fuel light will be on all oh, the right. time. Okay, Absolutely. just the way it is. Yeah, just, just the way it is. <laughs> and there's no um, engine rev limiter, right. so red line at the... Right, okay, the yeah. Other than that, it should be sweet. Beautiful. I mean, it is... I've, you know, I've, I've, the, SP, the SP1 is pretty nice, but... This is, I don't know, I've got a soft spot for this. I love old bikes. <laughs> Tell you what, this is so fucking cool, isn't it? That and that is such oh, a good mate. idea. Like, I've got such a boner. It'd be good to know what they should ride like. Yeah. Because, yeah. as I said to the thing off camera, I think there'll be lots of people that have got those old bikes and they've put stupid shit on them over the years and realise that they don't ride very well at all. So that's an authentic experience one hopes. Authenticity. And uh, a big shout out to Classic Bike Track Days because I didn't I didn't know even know they existed until no. this week. It's brilliant. It's Not brilliant. Right. So Not this right. is um, this is a classic bike track day for classic bikes. And let's just say the clientele is slightly different, isn't it? It's definitely more relaxed. Yeah. There's a lot of people there's a lot there's of There's no egos. There's no, oh, there's no big not. willy kevs on there, fucking jigsers, fucking having it, yeah. no, fucking it's, hell. It's a really nice experience. Yeah and everyone's really nice and they all like their own stuff because they take so much care of their vintage bikes yeah. 
they're really careful with them on the circuit, so it's just a place to ride at speed. And, uh, but yeah. I mean, talking of vintage, there are some like the old Lansdowne bloody. You can hear them. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm glad we're not out after this session because then we'd just be well. That is a dripping oil. That's the only thing, isn't it? Like a little bit. Yeah. But then this isn't a fast day, is it? No. And, it's, and again, yeah. I wouldn't go. You're not going to go and rent that 916 and go and try and break the lap record. No. You're going to do it because it's an awesome thing to do. But I love this. How is it? Yeah, it's good. I think you should take it out for a bit. But I th I th the clutch, I think it's the uh, slave cylinder, and it's sort of uh, a bit burny, but it'll, it'll last. Bernard. Bernard. Does look good. Does look very, yeah. very good. I just tried to bleed the brakes a little bit. Did you? They're, they're not. Um... I'll check you out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the fluid's old as well. Do you remember when we took the 916 to Aragon? Yeah. It's very much like that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> not quite as bad. But, uh, but there's no massive braking zones here, is there? So no. It's, uh, no. Right. I mean, there's loads of runoff as well. And, it, and it, if there is, it's into the chicane, which you can't just go straight on, right? Yeah. Okay. But no, it's brilliant. I think you should get a Mini as well. there mate. Oh, are you? Yeah. That was pretty good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. So that that Ducati, uh, I know I'm getting used to the bike way about it, but the way it goes into a corner. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. Just, I was like, how's he doing that? Yeah. Exit, pretty slow. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> a lot slower than this beast. Bloody hell. This is fast. And I, I can hear it as well. On the on the gas, it's just like bark. it's a real bark. deep bark. Yeah. Oh, that felt really good. Yeah, this Ducati is um the corner speed you can carry on it is is insane. The front end is um, like any of these older older Ducatis. The front end is just sublime. I think it's fair to say you could keep up with anything going into a corner. I mean, I'm surprised how much slower it is than the Yam. It's like Kieran said, they spent the factory boys spent some money tuning those engines because there's no way. <laughs> the standard engine. Not no, no. But yeah, so Yam done, Duke done. And it's now time. For, I think I'm probably looking forward to this most. Probably because I want to feel how a proper SRAD should be. Uh, should, ha should feel, so. Just don't do a stalker and blow it up. Is special. That is what an S rat is supposed to feel like. Wow. The motor's peachy. The handling. I mean, oh, just the way it. The way how cleanly it revs. It just. It feels nothing like my bike. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I was. I was literally Chris Walker for 20 minutes then. Like the rest of Kieran's bikes, the S rat has. Exhaust, uh, rear sets, max and suspension, front and rear, braking upgrades, Brembo. What else have we got in here, mate? Uh, Olin steering damper, which is very nice. Yeah, Brembo calipers as well. Brembo calipers, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. All that up. Um, I mean, the suspension. I'm a massive yeah. fan of Maxton. I'm a massive fan of Maxton. I like that. That's really, really nice. Your bike is so quick. It's so fast, isn't it? It's ridiculous. But is it standard? No, it's got uh, larger throttle bodies and like an airbox mod. Right, because that is... It's fast. <laughs> and the way it comes up the corner, it's, yeah. it's gone. And it's, it's geared almost perfect around yeah. I'm hitting six <laughs> just on the apex of that. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the old, uh, that's the myth. If it hits six just with the apex, you're mint. 
Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting because you obviously jumping from bike to bike. It's hard to tell where it's sort of better. But because I'm on a consistent vehicle behind you. Yeah. The front, you were, you were still running in faster. Yes. On oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, without doubt, yeah. The power of this yeah. is significant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the mid range is insane. Yeah. You don't have to rev it. Is that what you want yours to look like? Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Oh. I love the, the Cerakoting. Just a bit of a this is bit exactly, of a Gucci. It's exactly what I wanted, James. Yeah. Look like on my 7R. What was it called? Dark Bronze. Dark, Dark Bronze. bronze. Those brakes were really nice. Yeah. Well, they look nice. I don't want to feel that. Modelled by Chris. Kieran's had pointed out that the gearing is um, shorter on all the bikes because obviously you don't want road gearing on tracks. With the old Renthal sprockets, thank you to BNC Express. Shout out to BNC. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, Kieran. Kieran, I think you've you've, you've just ruined the day. It's yeah. 1990s. That is true. What it, says 1990s? Have you got an AR? Bit of <laughs> Running repairs, mate. Yeah, it's uh, all of the bolts have come out. <laughs> so, uh, but being the uh, prepared adventure dad that I am, uh, I've actually got an entire spare RSV Milliar in the van. So I'm just going to go and take some bolts out of that. Genius. Yeah. Just bring another bike, mate. <laughs> Terry, two bikes. <laughs> well then. Uh, it's lunchtime, so the organisers have kindly let us go and spin a couple of very gentle laps with cameras on, so we can give you a bit more of a cockpit review slash um, experience. And I have chosen to go with the 916, the 916, uh, but Al has warned me that the foot pegs are considerably tall, so let's uh, see just how bad they are. Ah, that's all right. This is it. Welcome to Walker versus Hodgson, the 2022 edition, the fat bastard edition. And this is in road shift, which is going to get a a uh, interesting little dibble dabble. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, the pegs are quite high. <laughs> We're so special. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is what an S-Rad should feel like. So I obviously have a 916, um, which we took round Aragon. Aragon. And uh, it didn't have a good brake system. But generally, the sa I know the chassis on these is proper nice. Proper nice! But it would be nice to actually ride a sorted one and be able to think about how good it actually is. Where's Hodgie? Come on, Hodgie. The mid range. Oh, hello, darling. Oh, don't crash here. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's got me. The, the corner speed that thing can carry is insane! Hey! With this chassis, this is the way an s rad should feel. And the brakes, they stop, they work. I'm not used to that. Usain Bolt won the Shetland Pony, didn't he? I think he's enjoying that. I'm certainly enjoying this. And this front end feels bloody lovely. It's not the most 
powerful. But what a brilliant idea that Renaissance are doing. Because this is proper bike riding, this. Absolute proper man stuff. Absolutely bloody brilliant. Oh, he's gone a gear too low there. Bike's done 20,000 miles and it feels like it's brand new. Well, I'd race this now. I'd happily race this here today if there was a race. Done. Chris Walker's done him on the power. Oh, he's, he's turned in too early there. Way off. What a chassis! This is actually my first time round Castle Coombe before anyone starts giving me shit. <laughs> It's so bumpy. Trying to know where all these little bumps are is not easy, I tell thee. And these bloody walls of tractor tyres are... But what a wicked thing that is. Brilliant. Bloody Roddy a brilliant. <laughs> How are we going to do this? Okay, uh, have you got that? You got it? I've got this. You yeah. get? You got that? Yeah. Oh, this is like a bloody sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be a fat Neil Hodgson. Oh, so much faster. This bike is insane! The corner speed you can carry, the front end still feels ridiculous. Big old girl, I used to have one of these. I had two of them actually, I like them so much. So this is a GSXR 750 SRAD, SRAD as some people like to call them. Oh, the bumps! And it stops so well, right on its nose. But this is where it loses out. Again, delicious on the brakes. That's what a lot of these old bikes, that's all they really needed was a bit of proper brake. Oh. Go on, Stalker! <laughs> that looks so good! That looks so good! <laughs> Go 
Come on, get the power in. Ah, he just ended to be out the corners and then comes back to me on the brakes. reps but I really did feel like a fat Neil Hodgson then. How fun was that? <laughs> that was so good. Oh mate, thank you. That was amazing. Thank you mate. Yeah, nice I'll shake hands, I'm not a youth. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it amazing because you couldn't, you pro I haven't ridden the other two yet, but you probably couldn't pick two completely different right. characterful bikes. They're completely opposite. Yeah. Completely opposite. How cool was that? Man, old bikes. Yeah, I was saying when I came in, I was like, That's where it's at. I, I'd much rather be riding those two. Yeah. I mean, th look, th th the paint. I know they're only reps. The paint makes a big difference. When you came, when I, when you came past me on that on the S Rad, mm. mate, it was. I I literally ejaculated. It often happens when I overtake. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it looks so good though. Yeah, and it's it's just it's something. It's a different. It's a totally different vibe, isn't it? Because yeah. We all, but I mean, I don't know. You get, you kind of, maybe we're getting old. Well, we are, yeah. <laughs> but you get to a point of, like today, you're never going to really chase lap times on the superbike. No. It's not going to happen, is it? No. On a track day. So it's kind of like, well, you've got to enjoy each lap. Yeah. And older bikes, certainly, the enjoyment factor, I think, is bigger. Oh, it's more. I, Man, yeah. Proper man's bike, because you're like, you've got to manage the throttle. You, yeah. There's always a little problem going on somewhere. <laughs> like, like, Hang on, what's going on with it? Like, okay, that's a bit weird, right? Okay. <laughs> And you, you, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. brilliant. It's weird being the youngest people at track day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and that is the newest bike. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a brilliant idea. I yeah. Think, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a win-win. Uh, yeah, it's just, all you need to do to these old bikes, really. Old bikes are brilliant. With modern brakes, they're amazing. And with modern tyres, they're amazing. Yeah. And then, you know, fed with the suspension. And that's all you need. It's brilliant. I loved it. Unfortunately, the Joey rep wasn't quite ready to ride on the day, but is now a full-time member of the Ren Racing Stable, along with a rather tasty ZX7R. Check out the link in the description and have a gander at Kieran's offerings. So good. Surprise package for me. Yeah. Yeah. There was some fella out there on something, and it was like, like spitting. Weird. I think it was some sort of supercharged thing, and it was like this thing. It was smoking. And I was like, fucking hell. And it was so fast down the straight. It's like a jet bike or something. And anyway, I was like, oh, I don't, don't want to. He's going to fall off any minute. <laughs> anyway, I managed to flag him down, and he was like, I've got an engine breather. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bit more than that. <laughs> Seen you out there, he's got the number one on. I thought that number one's gone to his head. He's giving it his best Fabio <laughs> Quattararo like out Coming there. out of that like, last court, it's like you can feel it. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Over the little crest. Yeah. It's really sorted. Really nice. Happy days. Cheers in the rear sin. Sponsored by Colchester Kawasaki. Who is it? Uh, it's uh, Scott Mills. Scott Mills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, what a day. Man, that Yamaha was brilliant. Yeah. That's, that's probably the, 
if it was one more session, what one do you want to take? I'd probably take that. Really? Yeah. Just because I found it, it felt like it's the most sort of neutral of all of the bikes. Didn't do anything like fantastic, but as a whole balanced mm. package, it felt like you could push it, yeah. really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and it was just really balanced. It's surprising, isn't it? I'm really comfortable. Yeah. Really comfortable. Yeah, yeah. The screen, I love the screen. Yeah. I felt because if you're tall, like, you always buckled down, but I felt like I could actually stretch my head because the screen is so sort of far away from you. Um, but yeah, I was hustling on that. I was enjoying it, really enjoying it. Yeah, I think I'd take the... Ducati. Yeah? I'd, yeah. Ducati. But, you know, no, 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 I don't know. I, I'd, I'd, I'd have any of them. No, just, they're just fucking brilliant. I love old bikes. Really and, it's, and when they work, it's so much better. Yeah, don't <laughs> Mine's mechanically sound, it's just some, you know, the tail. It's just shit fairing. It's, it's shit. I don't know, if it, I mean, it was on it when I got it, but. It does look so good. The plastic, but like. People think it's a. Oh, just get, you know, just get any old cheap fairing. No, 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 it makes a massive difference. Yeah. Because if it starts wobbling and falling off and shit, it's just going to ruin your day. So, uh, yeah, no, no, I'm on a mission now, let's get back. Yeah. Renaissance racing. It's a very good idea. The classic superbike experience. Renracing.com